calling the local grocery store, or one of them. Hi, uh, can I speak with the seafood manager? Thanks. Hi, um, my name is Jamie and I'm recycling uh, styrofoam boxes, you know, that you guys throw up from the fish department. And I was wondering if you guys could... Oh, yes, I am the guy who was there yesterday. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Um, so you can keep holding them? That would be great. Um, yeah, cool. So I can just come pick those up like Monday and Wednesday around 4 o'clock. Saturday too? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you on Monday. Okay, bye. Oh. So, what I'm doing here is trying to collect styrofoam boxes to insulate the banana building. So I did buy a pile of insulation for it, but I'm, I'm think I'm going to use that for the dome. Um, because I saw the grocery store throwing out these piles of styrofoam boxes and I was like, man, that's terrible. How can I throw that out? This thing just got made, got used once and got thrown out. That's useful stuff. So, um, I'm starting to collect them from grocery stores. There's a few different grocery stores within, I don't know, 30 miles or so that I'm getting them from. And so I'm calling the little grocery store managers to see if they'll kind of hold them for me. They can't hold them very long, but you know, they can be like, oh yeah, we'll throw them out like after 4.30 for you. And, you know, they'll just keep them in the store. They can't hold them for days or anything. But anyway, uh, later I'll have to show you how many I've got so far. Uh, not that many yet, but I need like a thousand of these boxes. You know, you know the boxes are just like styrofoam coolers that they ship like fish and stuff like that in? Anyway, okay, I'm out of here. So I've been collecting these silly boxes for a little while and I'm getting quite a pile. Here, I'll go in front of it so you can see how big it is. Okay. So here's my pile of stack so far. These should make pretty good insulation, I think, especially when they have lids on. I might stuff them with something. I'm hoping that I can use whole boxes and I don't have to like cut them up and flatten them out against all the walls and everything. And now, out of the five stores I've approached and asked about this, um, two have been super cooperative, and they've been like, "Yeah, we'll totally hold them for you." I mean, they can't, they can't hold the boxes for multiple days or anything. But you know, on a day that they know I'm coming to get them, they'll say, "We'll hold them from the morning until you can take them." Uh, so I've been getting a lot that way. And then the other three stores of. You know, I, they'll let me take them, but only if they, they have some right there and they just kind of throw them out. They don't get very many. It's kind of a bummer. There's two Shahs that have been really super cooperative. And then two other Shahs that are kind of... And then there's this price chopper pretty close to here. And uh, they get a lot of seafood. That's what these boxes are from. In the seafood department. And I spoke with the seafood manager. She didn't really want to deal with me, it seemed like. So maybe she was having a bad mood or in a bad mood or having a bad day. So I'll have to go try bugging her again. Uh, Cause there are three grocery stores right in the same little spot. And two of them are the only mildly cooperative ones. If I can get them all three on board, that would be pretty sweet. And I don't see why it should be so difficult because like they're throwing out piles and piles of these things and it's terrible. Cause like they, I mean, I've said this like a hundred times. You know, they make these styrofoam boxes, mail something in at once, and throw it away. It's such a waste of resources and stuff, and they're just throwing them out in the back. And I want to take them and recycle them, and uh, hopefully I can explain that well to some people. Man, I need to work on my talkiness. Hold on. Yeah, so as I'm sure everyone knows, I only do one take, so when I get tongue-tied, I just leave it in anyway. But, you know, in addition to that whole people throwing out styrofoam boxes, people throw out stuff all the time that's completely useful. And I'm always very disappointed when I go to a junkyard or a, you know, a dump or whatever you want to call it, and they don't let people take stuff away. I think it's terrible. In fact, I think we should have, like, armies of people going into junkyards and saying, you can't stop us from recycling. We're taking this stuff and reusing it. Like, check it out. Here's a gate. It would have just gone in the garbage. But, uh, actually, Ellen got that gate from the junkyard or something. No, I don't know where she got it. But anyway, I got stuff like that from the junkyard. And I, don't, I only know of 
maybe one or two junkyards that I can actually go in and take stuff. Most of them are like, oh no, liability, you can't take stuff. And I'm like, I'll sign anything. Just let me go take the stuff and recycle it. If you need someone to go get it for me, fine. Oh, it's terrible. Because, oh, anyway, planet's going down the tubes. No one even cares. While I'm standing right here, here's a perfect example. This enormous steel building that was going to go in the garbage. Luckily, the guy who had it didn't just throw it out right away. He held on to it for a couple years, and he was like, man, I don't want to throw this away. But, I mean, most people would just, like, get someone, pay someone to come and, like, throw it in the garbage. But luckily, the guy held it long enough until someone like me came along and was like, oh, yeah, I'll totally take that. I can use that. That thing is awesome. So, yeah, I've got my garbage workshop. It's built out of garbage. You know, a building that was getting thrown in the garbage and a whole bunch of styrofoam boxes that are getting thrown in the garbage. And people are throwing them out like crazy right now. It's incredible the amount of garbage people are making right now that it's totally useful stuff. Like, stop. Stop being so wasteful. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm just getting worked up about this. Anyway, so those styrofoam boxes are going to go all up in here and... I'm just going to be collecting them all spring and summer and hopefully by next winter I'll have enough to line the walls of the building. Then it'll be, my workshop will be insulated.